Hey, what's up, you guys? This is your boy Lucky here, and I'm bringing to you another Castle Clash video for today, guys. In today's video, um, I'm gonna go over the five top heroes in the game right now. Um, they're big game changer, uh, game changers in this game right now, especially with Guild Wars being like the main um, aspect of this, um, you know, game right now. Um, if you see a lot of top players, like top guilds, um, mainly they kick out people that are inactive in Guild Wars. Uh, so that explains a lot where a lot of these heroes come from. And it's just insanely how IG releases two heroes recently and they're just so OP that a lot of people, you know, want to have them. Um, let's start off with the first. I think the first has to be, um, in my personal opinion, has to go with um, Trixie uh, Treat. Treat, treat. It's just her, the way they made her just so P. On top of that, her talent that comes with it already. On top of that, what she does and what she summons is just insane and crazy. So, technically, it's like a spear mage, but I think it's just like a like spear mage and steroids. Just basically what it is. It's just insanely crazy. Um, you cannot compare her to a spear mage at all. I mean, she will literally. Not a late um, spare mage off the map <laughs> if she could. Um, she comes with eight out of eight ward guard already. On top of that, she summons two pumpkins, which when they die, they self destruct, which is eight out of eight. <laughs> if you don't tell me that's insane, that's freaking crazy. Um, it's just so insane. I think this hero just imagine this. I mean, a lot of people put bulwark on this hero. I think it's just eight out of eight bulwark plus eight out of eight um, freaking <laughs> war god. Uh, I mean, what, what quest will you add on this hero? What like a live train or even a revite? Even a revite? I mean, it's just insanely crazy. This hero looks OP. I think it look, actually, honestly speaking, I'm not a big fan of some of the heroes they evolve. I think some of the heroes they evolve, they're just had the same concept to it like orange and red and this fire looking but honestly i do like her look evolve i think it's one of the best um evolve heroes in the game because normally she looks kind of like funny here but once you evolve her she looks freaking like you know cool uh, I, I like the way they designed this hero uh, i think it's one of the best designs they made honestly i think she's super cool um and she's like gotta be one of the first you know Five heroes in the game right now that you really really want to get I think second goes to, gotta go to um sorry let's put him regular evolution to demon gorgon um the sadly part about demon gorgon is that he's only a vent hero which is sucks mainly all the dragons that do actually release are event only heroes like Artica and Motonica um I think demon gorgon is just insanely crazy um if you have him with warlock pixie Ares, you take out completely your opponent's team off i mean completely i'm 100 percent sure especially if you have this hero 10 out of 10 you know with a war guard you know with it it's just insanely crazy sadly i don't think also with that like you know how picks uh, i mean uh tracy tree comes with eight out of eight war guard i don't think this hero has anything like that it doesn't have any um like chris i mean any talent already with it so that kind of sucks but if you had like a 5 out of 8 bulwark even a 5 out of 8 on war god um, 8 out of 8 war god sorry um, this hero will be telling crazy it will just it, it targets 5 so I mean ugh, it will wipe the entire team if it could I think this is the second one in my personal opinion in the game right now that's so OP and evolve it looks amazing honestly I think it's one of the best evolved looking dragons in the game I don't really like the Montanica look, but Demo Gorgon, it looks pretty sick with it. Alright, let's go to the next. I think everybody knows this <clears throat> for the fact that um I'm a big fan of Green Fiend. I think when Green Fiend came out, I honestly wanted Green Fiend so much. Um it's just super OP. Um I think him with the right talent, he could take off um freaking score night. I'm a I I seen videos where Think is it scatter? I use either scatter or bulwark they have on him. He can just take out uh freaking skull knight out. Just he recovers HP equal to a hundred, a thousand five hundred percent attack and transform into a demon. Gains plus seventy five attack, stun immunity for twelve seconds, cooldown fifteen seconds. Demon form deals damage equal to three hundred and twenty percent attack and enemies in front and moves their buffs. Hero has eight. A level 8 berserk 
that's freaking crazy. It just automatically comes with eight berserk. So I mean, this hero is super OP. I love it. the design of Green Fang is so freaking amazing. I love it, and it just insane and crazy. Look at this. And then it, it but if you evolve them, it looks even more freaking beast. Look at this. It's freaking sick. I love it. I think another one. <clears throat> that was the third one. I think this. <clears throat> a lot of people. Uh, that was the third one. I think Skull Knight is still one of the best heroes in the game right now. When they release this hero, this hero is so OP. I mean, him by himself can take a team out completely. Especially if they have the right talent with him. Um, it's just insane. Um, he does have a, a level 8 revive. So if you kill this guy, he's going to come back. I mean, full health. So that's crazy. Um, I think he's a big game changer in the game. If you, especially starting off, you have Skull Knight. I mean, you're, you're pretty set to go. He's just crazy. I mean, it, it's increased Skull Knight attack by 800 and uh, limits damage taken. 3,000 3, per hit for 10 seconds. has a level 8 revive. He's just freaking beastly. I don't really like Skull Knight's um, illusion design. I think I think I like, honestly, I think I like the, the normal one better. Um, I don't know. It just stands out more to me instead of the, I don't know. I think, I'm guessing because I don't like the helmet or his little head design. I think should have just kept it the way it was. Just, you know, add a little more demon look to it. Um... But I don't know. I just like the regular design on the Skull Knight. This is my opinion, but I think he's the one of the top five in the game. Um, a lot of people want to say, but who's the fifth one? A lot of people might know this, and a lot of people might not disagree, but Pumpkin Duke is always going to be in the top ranked, regardless. I mean, Pumpkin Duke is just... He's a big game changer. I mean, this guy li literally makes your team fucking go crazy. If you have like an 8 out of 8 Berserk on this hero, freaking crazy. I mean, he just increased attack attack rate and move speed of all allies by 55% for 8 seconds. So, I mean, a lot of people, he just... The design of come on, let, okay, let's be honest now. The design of Pokemon Evolve is just like kind of like really you have to add a hat to it. I mean, they didn't have no hat, but they added a hat to it, so it kind of like looks lame. But I think just freaking OP. I mean, Pumpkin Duke is just a big game changer in the game, and it's just a hero that you must have in your team. I mean, you cannot go without Pumpkin Duke in any game mode. You always have to have Pumpkin in Arena. You have to have Pumpkin Duke. When you're playing HBM, you have to have Pumpkin Duke. A lot of people use Pumpkin Duke if Lost Butterfield when they're raiding. I mean, Pumpkin Duke is just a hero that has to always be in your lineup no matter what. Um, it just makes the game much easier. I mean, it makes your heroes faster, stronger. I mean, attack faster, sorry. I mean, it's just insanely crazy. I just, Pumpkin Duke is has to be in your top team no matter what so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoy it this is my top heroes that i think there are you know in the game right now they're really really made the game a little bit more difficult especially if you face somebody with a demogorgon <laughs> it's just insanely crazy how they made the hero pixie tree i mean tracy trick is just freaking crazy i, I just blow my mind about those pumpkins how they have eight out of eight just self-destruct with it already so that's freaking crazy um it's just beautiful heroes i mean look at this wow all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video let me know which top heroes you think on the game right now for in your opinion like if they're different from mine or you think the same as me or there's other heroes that you think should be in the top five i mean i'm pretty sure there's more uh probably in the next video i'll probably make the top 10 heroes i mean because i mean there's a lot of freaking legend now so, i mean look at this it's just insane how many legends are there in the game. But um, but I think those are the top five heroes right now, in my opinion. I hope you enjoyed this video. Get a thumbs like and forget to subscribe. I have a big announcement on a giveaway that I want to do soon um, about an account. I'll probably do a video on that um, sooner or later. Um, 
regards how would it work and how would the giveaway work. It's an amazing account. Um, it's only for Android, so just keep that in mind. And um, yeah, so stay tuned.